Okay, so the FIFA 22 beta has been out for quite a while now, as you probably already know. And I'm going to be giving you my full review of FIFA 22 Pro Clubs in this video. And I've played enough of it. I've been playing this game relentlessly to try and understand the game. And obviously, I'm not going to tell you too much because I'm not allowed to. So EA, please don't kill me. But I'm going to give you my review and basically break down some of the main things I liked about this game and I disliked about the Pro Clubs beta in this video for you guys. So make sure you stay tuned. Hit the thumbs up button if you like these kind of videos and stay tuned for FIFA 22 because loads of content is going to be coming your way as soon as the game drops. And yeah, I'm giving away free copies of FIFA 22 as well. So stay tuned to the end to find out how to enter that. But yeah, Without saying any more, let's get into this video and let me give you my review, my in-depth review of FIFA 22 Pro Clubs Beta. Do you guys want cheap and reliable Ultimate Team Coins? And when I say cheap, I mean very, very cheap. Well, then I got you guys covered. Make sure to check out utnice.com for extremely cheap and reliable foot coins. All you got to do is head over to their website, utnice.com, click FIFA 21, select the platform you use, select the transaction type, whether it's comfort or auction, and then select the amount of coins that you want. Even better, if you use code SIM6 at checkout, you'll get yourself an extra 6% off your purchase. The link to utnice.com will be down in the description below. Make sure to check it out and use SIM6 for extra 6% off. Let's get into this video. So I've got my notes to the side of me and I'm going to read them through and basically give you guys my review. As you know, this is the beta. This isn't the actual game. The beta tends to be a lot different to the actual game and they tend to revise a lot of the features and change them a bit for when the actual game drops based off that's the whole point of the beta it's to give the guinea pigs the game let them test it let them bang it out get feedback off them and then change the game and make it better for when it actually releases so i'm one of those guinea pigs and a few of you guys are those as well i'm gonna give you my review my notes and yeah the game is might be very different when it comes out so keep that in mind but for now this is a beta review let's go all right so starting off with my first note which is based on the gameplay and I'm just going to say it now. The gameplay is slow. It's very, very slow compared to FIFA 21. It is drastically different and this might be because I've got the next gen beta. I haven't got the PS4 beta, so that could be why it's a lot more slow. The next gen has the new game engine, so it's a lot different. Whereas um, FIFA 22 for PS4 or PC doesn't have the next gen version. So Apparently, it feels quite similar to FIFA 21 in that regards, but the next gen feels completely different to FIFA 21 and it's very, very slow. I think they've done this purposely to kind of create this realistic realism that they're going for with the new game engine, this new hyper motion technology. It's meant to feel a lot real and it, it does feel a lot more real. It feels like you're controlling an actual player and not a robot, if you get what I mean. But it's kind of annoying because obviously with pro clubs, it's a very fast paced game. You want fast paced players and having slow gameplay just makes it a lot more difficult. And I'll break down the reasons why. So one of the reasons why it makes the game a lot more difficult is primarily for skills and being agile and certain builds. But when it comes to skills on FIFA 22, they're not that great. I feel like skills are not that fluent on the game. They're not that responsive and it feels very, very stiff to do skills. And honestly, I feel like it's a bit of a gamble when you do a skill in the game, because if you go to do a flip flap, the ball might just leave you and the AI will instantly intercept it. So that's one thing that I've kind of noticed that these, the skills in this game vary drastically to the skills on FIFA 21. Because I've been playing back and forth, I've been playing FIFA 22, then FIFA 21 on my live streams. I can really tell the difference. It feels like two completely different games. Skills are very, very slow on FIFA 22, whereas they are very fast on FIFA 21. It's something that you got to get used to for sure. And once you have mastered it, I, I guess it'll be all right. But that's what comes with the slow gameplay is the slow skills. And first time skills, I haven't really experienced it. If I'm honest, I, I don't I don't actually know how to do first time skills. Moving on to my next point, which EA have received lots and lots and lots of feedback about and complaints. The goalies, the goalkeepers are very, very questionable. It doesn't really make sense, to be honest. From far, they are trash. 
the goalkeepers from distance are horrifically bad. But when you're nearby to the keeper and you're going for a one on one, they, they tend to be very OP. Near post is not OP in this game, but far post is very OP. So yeah, uh, goalkeepers from far, from distance, long shots are incredible. They are so overpowered in this game. You can literally lick a long shot from the halfway line and it'll go in. From nearby, goalkeepers are very OP, but from far, they are trash. And EA know this, the goalkeepers just seem as if, it's like you've got Kyle Walker in goal. They just, it doesn't really make sense. It doesn't feel like that's an actual goalkeeper. But I do know that that's only for the AI goalkeepers. If you're an actual pro goalkeeper, the animations are a lot better this year. As we know from EA talking about animations, 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 anim new animations, more animations, 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 animations. Animations is definitely something that's improved for pro goalkeepers. And I highly recommend that you do use a pro goalkeeper this year or someone who controls the goalkeeper in any. So I've played around 75 games. 75 is a decent amount. I, I know the game. I understand the game. I've got a grasp of the builds as well. And one thing, a new feature that they added explosive sprints to the game. They're not new. They've always been in the game. It was in FIFA 21. You literally just double press R2 and your guy flicks it ahead. However, in FIFA 21, it wasn't that good. In this, it is quite OP. When you run past the AI, if you just double flick, you're in pretty much 90% of the time. So that's if you're playing against AIs. But that leads us on to my next bit of feedback which is the AIs. And uh, boy, boy, oh, oh boy, boy, these AIs in this game are ridiculously good. Like, they have made the AIs Barcelona's prime defense 90% of the time. It's crazy. Their defending is ridiculously good. However, their passing is tragic. AIs cannot pass for shit. So, I do highly recommend when you start, when you play FIFA 22, when you start playing the game, when it comes out on release day, I recommend using an any, getting someone you know to play the any role. And also I recommend that you turn the any setting on when you go to find a match on pro clubs. So you're not playing against AI defenders because you simply can't get past them. They are very difficult to get past. The only way you can really get past the AIs is if you go around the wings and just explosive sprint past them. But other than that, it, they are very difficult to get past because they just, with their new uh, 11 v 11 technology, they just shift as a team. So it's it's like an army just shifting in front of you. Like it's, it's quite difficult to get past AIs this game. And it always has been to be fair, but this game especially, AIs are very good at defending. So I recommend turning the any feature on and using an any. That's another piece of feedback for this. All right, so moving on to the next point, which is one of the key selling points of this game for pro clubs especially is the customization features as we know from the pitch notes as you guys know if you've seen my other videos we've talked about how in depth the customization is and i can tell you now it is very good as as they've said customization is a lot better there's a lot more customization and you can see on screen now there's in depth stadium customizations in depth you can change like the mesh of the net change the pitch patterns all the pitch lines the different stadium seats there's so much you can do and this is all obviously on the pro clubs pitch notes so you can see this if you haven't already customizations is a lot more in depth and it makes the clubs a lot more unique to you you can even have goal songs and chants it's, it's, it's good it makes the game a lot more worthwhile in line with that we do have the pro customizations which are also a lot better this year we got so many new hairstyles so many better trims like more realistic trims that look good kind of like nba kind of trims so that's a lot better they focused a lot on customization this year for pro clubs and career mode and they've done a pretty good job for now obviously there's still ways they can improve in the customizations yeah it's 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 definitely a step in the right direction for pro clubs and it's promising it's promising you guys are going to enjoy customizing your characters as you know you can become a female you would have seen that in the trailer that's like their main selling point is everyone has been abusing females ladies and gentlemen pause we got him not in that way not abusing everyone has been using oh it still sounds bad everyone has been opting to be a female <laughs> on pro clubs <laughs> let's just say it like that without getting absolutely cancelled so yeah customizations it's a good one 
Thank you, EA. You've definitely focused on that, as we know from the trailers and things. So please don't kill me. We've got a couple more points. One of which is you guys will all want to know is perks and archetypes. As you know, perks and archetypes are set to make a big difference to the game. And they do make the game a lot more interesting. They allow builds to be a lot more versatile. They allow builds to be more fun. You can significantly boost your stats with individual archetypes and make your players so much more OP. For example, there are pace archetypes which just make you so fast. And I, I personally use pace archetypes. It makes builds a lot more versatile and have their own unique abilities alongside with the perks they give you a little boost to your build there's a lot of different perks which you can go and see on the ea pitch notes website i can't show you them because obviously i don't want my channel to get flagged or i don't want ea to kill me so i'm not going to show you them i will show you them when obviously the game comes out but for now i can just explain to you and give you my review on them and they are fun they are fun. I, I like I like that they've added a new kind of concept to the game. Uh, I would say they're not as OP as people think they're going to be. And it, the kind of layout of it is a bit confusing because you don't really understand quite how the perks work in game. But I think that's something EA will clear up when the game comes out. For example, say I use a certain perk. I don't actually know when it's activated or like what the activation means for the perk it's, it's hard to explain but when you guys play it you'll understand or if you guys have played played it you will also understand and that leaves me on to one of my last feedback points for the game one of the main things ea have been working on for pro clubs which is their new drop-in system and yes as you can see on screen it's a lot different to the old drop-in system very very different they've spent a lot of time working on this i'm going to tell you honestly drop-ins haven't been great ea have received numerous complaints i know so many of you guys who haven't been able to get into games you've been waiting half an hour especially when the beta was released like you just couldn't get into games it was pretty impossible to get into games so everyone's been making public clubs and then joining those public clubs and then just playing through the club system and that way you can get into games very very easily like they said but when it comes to drop-ins Getting into games is very difficult still, even though it's been two weeks on it, getting into the games is still quite hard. It's new and it's interesting. And I think when the game comes out, obviously this is the beta, so it's a lot different. When the game comes out, drop-ins will be so fluid. There'll be so many more people on drop-ins. So a lot more teammates to have, a lot more people to play against, for example. But it is better. It offers a new element to pro clubs because you can play with your friends in drop-ins now. You can play with recent opponents, so you can scout good players. I've been playing with loads of new people and I found quite a lot of good players through doing this. So it's definitely a good way to build a new team if you don't have players to play with. Yeah, it's, it's a nice kind of warm up before you maybe play in your serious club or for example, us when we're trying to get 100. No, if I want to warm up and my teammates are not here, let's hop in a drop in match with a couple of my teammates who are here and get warmed up. Also, in line with that, you don't have to fight for your position anymore like you used to on pro clubs. You can now get your preferred position and it will automatically put you in that position on the pitch with your teammates it's like ranked you with so that is good and i think drop-ins do have a lot of potential when it comes to fifa 22 pro clubs that is pretty much it when it comes to my review that's that's pretty much my notes that i've got from playing this beta the game will be out at the end of september so make sure you pre-order it if you haven't pre-ordered it and you want to pre-order it for cheap Make sure to check out my latest video on that. You can save yourself £23 if you pre-order it using the method I did on my video. Yeah, if you want to win FIFA 22, I'm giving away free copies. It ends on the 21st of September. So make sure to check out my socials. The link will be in my Instagram bio. The link is also in my Twitter bio. So if you head over to Twitter, you can understand how to enter the giveaway. So I recommend going doing that. If you want the chance to win free FIFA 22s, free, free copies for free. Why would you not enter? Why would you actually not enter? All you have to do is just hit the links in the description and head over and then you can enter. It doesn't cost anything and it takes five seconds of your time. So you might as well. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, but there's not that many people entered. So your chances are very high right now of winning it. I hope you enjoyed my review of FIFA 22 Pro Clubs Beta. If you're excited for the game, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you lot in the next video. Here's been Simi. Peace. Get to attach. Swabbing, gifted, I know that I'm different. The way that I switch it on every track. Uh.
bitch. Smoking this weed.